Spend like 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. Man, got a nice little grill and I'm standing up for the one time. A lot of y'all always like, you see me in person, you're like, dude, why are you so tall? You look short in the videos because I don't understand that, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, so you guys know I've done a lot of like uh, giveaways with stadium goods, but I never actually personally ordered directly from them. So I wanted this video to be like stadium goods legit, which obviously we know is legit. Um, I just wanted to buy from them. You guys know there was a release that just came out that I have been wanting so bad and I didn't get them and it hurt my feelings. But I got them now and if you were watching, you know what exactly it is. I paid 800 what was it, $880 was the price and then I paid an additional for two day shipping. And the reason I didn't personally buy these from like GOAT or StockX, which they were cheaper, I didn't wanna wait because I don't have time to sit and wait seven, 10 business days right now. I'm not in the mood for that. I could care less about the price being cheaper and wait two weeks, so no thanks. To know that I'm buying a shoe, I know it's 100% authentic, but these, there's a lot of fakes out there already, like top tier fakes that you probably can't tell the difference. So. I wanted to make sure if I'm gonna spend my money, I'm gonna spend it right and get the real deal. So I ended up ordering and I got my, it took me a long time. I kept going back and forth between stock X, go stadium goods. And I was like, oh man, do I really wanna pay like X amount to get these sooner? And I'm like, you know what? At the end of the day, peace of mind is everything. So that's what I ended up paying $880 plus the 200 or the $23, like two day shipping. I ordered these October 31st and they came, was it? November, it was, what's today right now? Let's see, I don't even know what today is. Today's the fourth. These came the third, I believe. Let, let's, let me confirm real quick. I wanna make sure I'm giving y'all facts. Did these deliver today? Oh yeah, yeah, so they, so I ordered them on the 31st, which was like Saturday on Halloween. I just kept going, I ordered at one o'clock in the morning. That just goes to show you, I was, I was like, man, is the price gonna drop? Should I buy them now? I'm sure the price will probably drop and then it's gonna skyrocket, but I wanted these. I need to see them. I, it's one of those things where like, I need it. So then when I have it in my position, I can realize I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just haven't seen them in person yet. So I know I'm talking a lot, but I just wanna give you a breakdown. So I ordered, got two day shipping. Here they are, came with signature confirmation. So you gotta love that. I haven't ordered from StockX or Goat in a minute, honestly. Really just because of, you know, how long the delays were with what's been going on, you know what I'm saying? So here they are guys. Let's see what's up. This is really an old school like unboxing. I bought these for myself. I didn't buy these to do any reviews. I didn't buy these to make any money. I literally bought these for my own personal. I think it's been a minute since I've just like paid resale for something that oh, I just needed. Yes, sir, peep the box. Now this is my first pair. Obviously you know what these are, these are off-white fives. Uh, this is my first pair with this kind of cool box. You know, I got like the Prestos and stuff, but um, even the Jordan ones, they came in the brown box, nothing like this. So you got the cool stadium that, stadium goods, I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited, size 12. I'm gonna make sure to do a review. The hardest thing was trying to decide what size I should go with. Like I didn't know, should you go true to size? Should you go up half a size? Should you go down to size? So I just ended up going my true size because there is no padding in these. Damn, these are really yellow. Like a lot of people say, look like a dog pissed on them. Low key, high key, it does. You get the little stadium goods tag. I'm assuming that's their way of authenticating. This cool paper, Off-White 2020. Ooh, yes, sir. Here they are finally in my possession, dude. You know, there's just some sneakers out there that you think you want and then you get them and you're like, I don't really want these. But, oh man, these are fire. I had a stupid fit on earlier today that these would have just been crazy. Even low-key my fit now. Oh, these. Damn, what y'all think, man? It's like people hate these, but people love them at the same time. And I was one, I was like, keep that same energy and let me get these for retail, but that clearly didn't happen. Then you have that super yellow sole, which I get. I was just talking about this a few days ago about how 
you know, people used to be like, oh, I don't want any creases. I want to make sure my shoes don't stay yellow or they don't yellow, blah, blah, blah. And now it's like reverse. Now we're trying to get vintage looking shoes that have the yellowing and, you know, they just look like they've been sitting in the box for 17 years. I got to try them on for myself, man. I've seriously been waiting. Since I saw images of these, I wanted them. Like, do they really look that good? This is just like anything, bro. Like, I'm gonna give y'all the, the analogy of life, right? You want a new car or you want a new watch or whatever it is, it could be anything. You want a new dog, blah, blah, blah. You finally get it and then you're like, mm, cool. What's next, you know what I'm saying? But we gotta put these bad boys on, see what's up. Oh man, that's weird. Dude, these are weird. Clearly my fit don't match, relax. Um, <laughs> these are weird. Like, it, it's almost nice not having all that padding, like on a typical Jordan 5, but it's also not as snug, you know what I'm saying? It, it does feel like these would be way more comfortable. And I'm not gonna hold y'all. Another really nice thing about Stadium Goods is that you can return stuff. I think you have like two to three days and maybe it's like you can't take off this tag or anything. And clearly I'm not like dirtying up the shoes. I'm just trying them on, see if I like them. Whew. Should I keep these? Like, I don't know. I do like them, man, they are cool. Like this is just a shoe I wanna wear every day. I'm most likely gonna wear these every day. Like even the material is cool because if something spills on these, I don't think it would ruin them. It seems like it would just fall right off, but I'm not exactly sure. It's kind of like a nylon. It's a very weird material. But I mean, you get anything on here, it's a wrap. These are stained. Ah, oh, man. Y'all see where I'm at? Like if I got these for retail, I wouldn't even be a problem. Oh yeah, so look, this tag says attention. Please expect item before removing this tag. All claims null and void once removed. So that's cool. You can buy this sneaker from, well not this sneaker specifically, but any sneaker from Stadium Goods. Make sure it checks out. You paid what you want for X amount for your money or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And if you like them, boom, take it off. They're yours. If you don't, then you return them. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. I don't know, man. I just got to sit and stare at these for a while. Like I've been waiting months to get these in hand. This is just one of those shoes that you got to see in hand. Like it is definitely a lot more yellow in person. I feel like even the camera's not picking up how yellow it is, but I even like the way Virgil did this tag. And not even on some like off-white hype. I'm over the off-white stuff. Like off-white is trash personally, in my opinion. Like I am not a fan of the clothing brand. I think their shit is terrible, honestly. It's not that great for what you pay, like $400, $500 for a shirt. I personally like Rude better. Rude and Nike should do a collab. Now that would be hard. But the sneakers, solid. But I don't own any like off-white clothing, I'm just saying, for the record. But I know I'm just beating a dead horse, man. I'm just, this is literally the definition of like paying resale for your own enjoyment and like, wow, I got them. You know what I'm saying? I haven't had that feeling in a long time, it feels like. Cause I, you know, I do buy shoes early and pay resale, but not like for personal. Like I don't do all these reviews cause they are personally for me, it's kind of for you guys. But this right here, these are like, I need these, you feel me? It's lit, it feels good. I like this feeling. It's like getting yourself a present, you know what I'm saying? Tell me, what do you think, man? Are these a keep, sleep? Do you guys wanna see the review? Uh, honestly, if you're trying to order them right now, like I said, the price is gonna be like up and down for a while, but I personally would go true to size. I'm glad I didn't go down half a size. I'm glad I didn't go up a size. This true is perfect and it's very comfortable. And you will not catch me cutting holes because I like the way it looks. But yeah, man, just wanted to show you I got these. I'm geeked. This year, what is the one sneaker that you wish you could get by Christmas? Like for the whole, only this year, all the sneakers that were released in 2020, what's the one sneaker you want? I personally think this is it for me. I love these. I don't know why. I just love the Fire Red Fives and these are sweet. Also, before we end the video, I wanted to talk to you guys about Soul Primus. Honestly, in my opinion, the best travel bag to have for sneakerheads is Essential, or even the backpack, you can fit about like four different pairs in here. Best 
luxury affordable bag in my opinion like i've had a lot of these and they held up really well you could also get 30 percent off yeah 30 percent off using code mike the compass trust me do it and i'm not going to be changing the laces because this is just hard so yeah it's your boy sneaker life man i'll catch you on the next one Run it.